Portuguese. Cheese. Egg tarts. Hell yeah, baby. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Oh, yeah. Wait, why are the men eat? Actually, as an ally, I think the woman oh, should eat I first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, woman. Also, real quick, shout out to the Hop family. The Venmo was really unnecessary, honestly. I mean, I really appreciate the gesture, but they said, no, like, we just love your videos. Have this. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Yaki. Overnight oats. Honestly, it's not that great. I'm just eating this because I got sick of eating these protein bars every time I went to the gym. I'm super excited to go to the gym today because I have not been in about four days. I've been waiting for this tattoo to heal. If you guys are wondering where Viv is, she's uh, getting a facial right now. I just hate that it's called a facial because every time she sets up an appointment, she tells me, I'm gonna go get a facial. I'm like, from who? You never know if it's from the esthetician or from cum. I'm done eating, let's go to the gym now. That is one month of being consistent. A lot of you guys told me in the last video, hey Eric, just take it easy. You've been through a lot, so it's fine if you just take a break. To be honest, I didn't feel like making a video this week, but that's not an option, and let me tell you why. Who's gonna carry the boats and the logs? One, rent is due in like three weeks so i got to get my money up two you guys depend on me since you're all ipad kids you need a video to watch while you eat nah but on a real note i just needed the money my gym's got about 100 treadmills and two bench presses so you already know on chest day i was unable to get my bench in so i started off with some incline dumbbell press keeping the form good and tight moved on to dips I don't really count how many reps I do. I just try to do as many as I can, but I did make sure to do at least nine because I know my little brother does eight. Then I did some pec deck flies, focusing on making my boobies as big as possible. And then I did lateral raises, just because I've been doing them every day because I really want to blow up my shoulders. But once we got in there, we did some tricep rope push downs, really trying to squeeze as hard as I could. And then of course, I supersetted that with some overhead tricep extensions as well. And these just killed me. You know, I'm playing around with the angles, you know, whether I lean forward or just go upright, but it absolutely kills my arms. And before I went back home, I decided to do a few more dips just to let my little brother know that I'm doing more than him. That entire workout in the back of my head, I was just thinking about how I gotta push myself so that I can get bigger than my little brother. It'll happen eventually. It's also crazy to me that I get to live this kind of life. I'm basically that one unemployed friend in your group chat, but somehow makes a living. Some of you guys are curious how I support my lifestyle. Uh, the answer is YouTube. The ad revenue that I get off YouTube and also the money I make off of uh, brand deals. So it's basically you guys paying my rent. Thank you for your patronage. I'm home now. You guys ready for this transition? I just finished showering and now I am editing the video that you are watching right now. Also, since a lot of you guys ask, I use Final Cut Pro to edit my videos. And if you're wondering what camera I'm using, it's the Sony ZV-1. Today's Friday, Viv's still not home. I'm just doing work. Yeah, that's my life. It's a good life though. I have no complaints. But, but, can we just talk about how consistent I've been for the past like month or two? It's crazy. I don't think I've missed a week of putting out a video. I'm afraid that if I slow down, then my YouTube channel is going to die and my career, 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 day, career will be no more because I really don't want to go back to a corporate job. That lifestyle, it really ain't for me. So I'm gonna keep working hard. This version of Eric is not a version of Eric that you guys have ever seen before. I think the last time I worked this hard was, I think I'm gonna go make some food now. If you've been keeping up with the vlogs, you probably know what I'm about to make. Now that the chicken patties are cooking, let's do some cleaning up for the apartment because it's a bit of a mess right now. Yay, this is the mundane part of the vlog. I'm 
kind of tired just from doing all that work. Mm. Mm. Look at that. I kind of looks like a pussy, but look at that yolk. I cooked that shit perfect. Mm. I'm going to miss these chicken patties. Mm. Someone please bless me and save me with a high protein meal prep recipe that tastes good. And don't be sending me shit like this, cause this is a joke. I, I cannot believe this man actually sent me this. Uh -huh. <clears throat> uh -huh. I gotta fucking watch it one more time. I don't even know where he's sitting at. But... <laughs> All right, I got it. <clears throat> <laughs> what do I do now? I need to get some more protein in. Hey, uh, my protein, I'm still looking for that sponsorship. Oh shit. Welcome back, babe. Wow, your skin is glowing. Was it your esthetician or was it your, uh, was it cum? Obviously it was cum. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Oh, I love your little, um, braid tail. It's just a braid. Oh. It's called the French braid. <laughs> so the guy was French. <laughs> your skin looks great too. Well, I gotta do your eyebrows though. What's wrong with my eyebrows? You got a little uni. Do I really have a unibrow right now? Give me a kiss. Okay, she didn't smell like cum. How would I know what that smells like though? <laughs> Do you guys think my skin has been looking good? If so, let me share my secrets. The most important part of my skincare routine, sunscreen. I put this on in the morning and then after I come back from the gym, I put it on again. Wait, actually, why am I showing you guys this? I'll just show you guys at night. Wait, no way, you're actually gonna gatekeep your esthetician? Yeah. All right then, keep your secrets. I feel like if you go back like a month, what my face looked like, versus now there's like a drastic difference actually you can reveal her once you go get your facial done i don't want cum on my face <laughs> wow she's gatekeeping her fucking esthetician yeah she's amazing wow guys i would never gatekeep anything from you That's crazy she doesn't even have like a google reviews thing Oh, so she's underground your skin looks great thanks barry like, I did you, dude why did you call me barry what the f Honestly, I can't even expose who her esthetician is because I personally have no idea. Wait, Viv, I was going to do something before you came home and now I forgot what I had to do. Yeah, my protein. I got to drink some. My protein on some real shit, though. You guys have seen me in the gym, right? I've been going for a month straight. Give me two years. I'll be huge. So let me get that sponsor earlier, you know, rather than later. You know what I'm saying? Because like, you may as well do it now. <laughs> I got to stop doing that laugh. I heard you laughing from across the room. Yeah, can you do it for me? <clears throat> no, you gotta look at my face when I do it. Look at me in the eye. <laughs> Wait, you're actually dying. I didn't even do it in front of you. <laughs> you guys, just go. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even done it yet. I'm just looking at you. I know it. I'm getting. I don't want to see it. No, look at my face. It makes it funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out, guys. Viv got this. I don't know what to call this. But she basically has too many clothes in the closet, so she needs more space. So she got this thing where you can just hang it this way and it all falls down. Come on, come on. And when it all falls down. You guys get it. Show the girlies how it's done. Wow. Oh my god, you have so much more space on your side now. Right? Wait, I have never seen you wear this. What? This. Oh, this is vintage. It's Saint Laurent. Oh shit. Saint Laurent done fresher than the turkey. I be clean. Got a crush on his waitress. So I'm doing work right now and I ran into a problem. And guys, let me know if you also have this problem. But my girlfriend keeps trying to have sex with me while I'm trying to work. I don't know why I asked you guys, because I'm sure none of you have this problem. <laughs> So we got Jeremy and Chris here. They came over to eat dinner with us, but first we wanted to watch Jujutsu Kaisen season two. And you can tell by their reactions that it was a good time. Then we went to Glintai Bistro for dinner and met up with a few other friends. Listen, just cause you order a margarita doesn't make you less of a man. <laughs> Cheers, yeah, this man also got a margarita. Oh wait, no, there's alcohol in there. The tequila is nice though. Here's the pad came out. It's one of our favorite entrees from uh, Glenn. 
Also, it's pronounced Glynn, not G-Lynn. No, it's pronounced G-Lynn. This is the crying tiger. Strip loin with Thai spicy sauce, some rice, squeeze that shit. Oh my god, yeah, baby. Oh my god. And this is the beef salad. What do you know about Jersey, bro? So Viv and I are sharing these three because obviously I would not get all of this for myself. So the flavors on this are nice, but they cooked it well done for some reason. The packing out is good though. I'm doing it away with you. Starting day two with back and buys. This is my absolutely favorite day. I try to stay as strict as possible with my form, but eventually I get tired. And maybe I pull with my body just a little bit, you know, but a little cheating on back day never hurt anyone, right? Lap pull downs. I do think that my form needs a little bit tweaking, but let me know what you guys think. It just doesn't really hit my lats as well as uh, pull-ups do. Gym was absolutely packed today, so I wasn't able to do chest supported rows. The machine was constantly taken. So I did some face pulls at varying angles, making sure that my rear delts were getting fried. And then I moved on to doing bicep curls with the easy bar. But eventually when I got tired, I just got off the wall and let my body move a little bit while I was bringing it up. Also did some hammer curls, although I could have used a rope with a cable, just wasn't available to me. And I like doing these because I feel it in my forearms as well. I think it's called the brachialis, not really sure. But yeah, these fucking hit. My body was feeling pretty gassed and I decided to end my workout by doing some whatever these are called for the rear delts. Listen, I saw some huge dude on Instagram doing this, so I was like, hell yeah, I'll do that too. And that was my workout. Oh, actually, never mind. I did lateral raises. Yeah, I just keep doing lateral raises every day. I'm sure it'll pay off eventually. I always enjoy a little back day more than anything else, to be honest. I just have the best mind-muscle connection for it. I was thinking to myself, should I really be putting me going into the gym in these vlogs? But every now and then, I get people commenting stuff like, wow, this inspired me to go to the gym today. This is motivating me to go do some exercise. And I think that's enough for me. Sometimes I get embarrassed putting my gym clips in. Who really wants to watch a small guy lift, right? But then again, everyone starts somewhere. At the very least, those of you that watch my vlogs, you guys will be able to see the journey and the progress. So one day when I am big, you guys will be like, oh, I, I used to watch Eric when he was small and now he benches four plates. That's never gonna happen, but. You know what I mean. Oh yeah, by the way guys, I'm 100% natty in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> I'm actually not going home right now. I'm going to take Viv to Target. Oh, you're gonna go up the escalator? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I exercise. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what are we looking for today at Target? I'm getting face wash and moisturizer SPF. Roger that, Queefinator. That's that's her. That's Viv. They didn't have the SPF, so we're just gonna order that online. We're at Target. Do you not want anything else? I do. Wait, are you eating this for lunch? Yeah. 21 grams, 250 calories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm taking this. I ran out of my Costco chicken patty, so uh, until I restock on those, I don't really have protein at home that I can make right away. I do have fish, but it's frozen. I forgot to thaw it. <laughs> so we're gonna be eating this for lunch. Time to go home now and uh, <laughs> eat some lean cuisine. How could I have been so dumb to expect us to go home when Sephora is here? We're here for some more hyaluronic acid, salicylic acid. Oh, actually. Viv and I are back from our little shopping haul, whatever. If you guys want a clearer picture, this is what we got at Target, as well as this for our moisturizer. But we also got lean cuisines. Viv got the chicken parm spaghetti, 
and I got the meatloaf with mashed potatoes. And if you're thinking to yourself, wow, Eric, that looks like dog food. Well, that's because it does look like dog food, but I will happily eat this. So good. Really? I mean, yeah, I, I used to eat that all the time in college. Is this the most appetizing, you know, meatloaf in the world? No, but I'm sure it's fire. It's delicious. Don't judge a book by its cover. Okay, I don't know why I lied. It's not delicious. It's just regular meatloaf. Okay, actually the mashed potatoes are good. Really? Yeah, weirdly. The mashed potatoes are good, the meatloaf is whatever. How am I supposed to get ripped out of my mind eating lean cuisine? Oh, they smell good. It smells like boxed mashed, mashed potatoes. Fire. <laughs> anyway, I'll- um, spaghetti good, it's like al dente. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna finish up eating. I'm gonna go shower. And then, uh, I don't know guys, I'll figure something out before we go to Queens. I gotta keep you guys entertained, you f***ing iPad kids. Yo, what up guys? I am actually here at my friend Josh's apartment. He just moved in to Long Island City. But this is just a pit stop because we are going to go to Queens Night Market to go eat some good food. Are you sure preface that I moved in like two days ago? Okay, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it looks like absolute dog shit, cuz, well, <laughs> his apartment gym, which is kind of shit, but pretty good for an apartment gym. Because I wasn't able to bench at the gym yesterday, I'm just gonna do it now, because I really do want to bench. night walking now and we are about to eat some good food. Viv and I have been here before this is our third year we know the drill we want the ceviche refreshing it's nice can we get one ceviche please and we only have a is that okay I got one two three four I just got my drink oh oh man I gotta get this here Chris Oh yeah, it's fire, right? Oh my god. Everything about this works. It's just too good. <laughs> you love the ceviche. <laughs> oh my god. How beautiful is that? By far our favorite thing to get at the Queen's Night Market. Yo, Chris, sauce me? Oh baby, that shit's spicy by the way. I mean, just give them all. Thank you. Uh. I think the tortilla they use is fire. Yeah, it's a tortilla. Let me get a bite out of that. Oh my god. Viva la Mexico. Mm. Mm. And Bib and I are on a diet, so we're sharing one. <laughs> but usually Eric would have three to himself. the best vendor in Queens Night Market. And we're going to get some Filipino street food next. Excuse me? You're my sign, Eric? Yeah, what's up? What's up? <laughs> How you doing, bro? I know, can I take a picture yeah, with you? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Next to the Swagapino stand, there's a Korean stand, and there's a really long line for it, but as a Korean, I cannot endorse <laughs> this stand, given their prices for what they offer. Maybe Filipinos will say the same thing for this, but the barbecue is two for $5, and the sisig $6. We're getting both of them though. Babe, you look beautiful. We're going to All right, could we get the uh, barbecue and the sisig, please? Okay. And then for the barbecue, could we get the chicken barbecue and then the Philippine hot dog, please? <laughs> God damn, that looks so good. Oh, dude, he's saucing it. Oh, glaze that shit. God damn. Thank you. This is, I'm guessing, the Filipino hot dog. This is chicken barbecue. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. And then we also got sisig right here. And for those of you that don't know what sisig is, I personally have no idea either. <laughs> so I'll Google it and put it on right here. Mmm, that's yummy. Japanese sausage. Should be pixelated. Can I try? Yeah. 
How was that? Dude, you look so slutty right now. Let me see it. Oh, you're looking really slutty right now, Chris. All right, all right, Joshua. I'm gonna try and test it. It's literally a wiener. Filipino hot dog. It's kind of small. Just kidding, guys, just kidding. Don't cancel me. It's your large intestine. Only the end of it should taste like well. It's sweet. Yeah. Small but delicious. And this is the pork that my friend Jeremy got. Should have gotten the pork. It's good, right? Yeah, yeah the pork is good. And here is the cystic. First bite. Here we go. Mmm. Yo. This is fire. Yo, what? I like the spice on it. God damn. Oh, that's the mixture thing? I, I, I don't know what it is. Yeah, you slut. Mmm, Swagger Pinos rise up, because that shit was flames. It's getting a little late, so the last thing we're going to get are some Portuguese egg tarts. And yeah, they're just delicious. Hell yeah, baby. All right, so we got one for you, one for you and Sophie, and then uh, Josh, you and I are sharing one, because it's not eating it. Chris, that's cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon, cinnamon, oh, but... All right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was good. Wait, why are the men eat? Actually, as an ally, I think the woman oh, should eat I first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go woman! So, Eileen, Sophie, Josh, go ahead, guys. Josh! <laughs> and babe, you don't want a bite, do you? Cheers, baby. Mm. You like that shit? I like yeah. the way, like, when you eat it, they're like creams in your mouth. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Queens Night Market was a banger, and now it's time for us to go get drunk. So they got live music here too. Hey, it's pretty lit. What's up? Yeah, yeah. What's up? I had a deal, man. Can we get a picture? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Go on the other side. Go on the other side. No problem. Have a good night, guys. Been getting recognized a lot more in Queens than in uh, Brooklyn. There's a lot more Asians here. So this is Hongdae Pocha, and as you can see, not too big, not too many people, and the crowd's a little bit older. This was actually a recommendation from my old Twitch mod, Shimmy. So we got some popcorn, as well as watermelon, so I can confidently say it's gonna be a good night. I like the way they cut it. How is it? It's delicious. Oh, really? Yeah. No, it's good. It's juicy it's really as fuck. Well. It's really good. It's got GMOs for sure. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I would come here to like pre-game. It seems like a place you would come to with your best friend when you're like 40 after playing a round of golf. I recorded it, yeah. Wait, I think you put two shots in mine. Cheers. Okay, I think you put two shots in mine. I think you put, you 100% put two shots in mine. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, that looks good. Oh wow, that's sexy. The corn cheese is not even remotely close to any times. Really? Like any times is like multiple feet below this one. Wow, so sexy. <laughs> Why do you say that like a 50 year old man watching <laughs> videos? <laughs> Ah. Wait, yo, the food here is bomb. What the f We've been getting scammed in K-Town. Wow, so this is muscle and fish cake soup. Oh my god, that looks delicious. Uh, this is what Shimmy recommended, the cheesy product. Wow. Yo, someone please pull on that. Oh, oh shit. Yeah! So there's also tonk in it, and that is so sexy. First bite, here we go. Don't roll your eyes back like that. Delicious. Flushing, Bergen County on top. Wait, wait, say that again? I like this better than K-Town. My camera's about to die, 
So I'm just going to call it a night here. I'll see you guys later. Psych! I am so prepared. I brought a second battery. Let's go. Oh! Dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His name is going to be Derek though, 100%. Are you okay with that? Just finish your drink. Alright. <laughs> okay, my bad bro. I said I told you, like, yes, if you have a son, I'll let you name him Derek, but he's gonna get made fun of so Yeah, D-E-R-I-C. Will of D Eric. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! This shit is not good. This is Sunde Pokom. Wow. Is it good? Antibiotics. The other beef, and he couldn't let her stay. Back to Joy. Man. Yeah. Queen's Night Market bang, but. At the end of the day, I'm a Korean man. What can I say? Damn. So we got a second one of the cheese puri because it's just too good. And then I think this should be good for us uh, tonight. We're gonna do a segment now called What's the secret to being in a long, happy, lasting relationship? I would say based on my experience. I feel like Good communication, being empathetic to your partner's um, wants and needs. I notice because I'm able to be as weird as I am around Jeremy. Even like people that I'm really close with, I still kind of hold back from being extremely strange. He sees it all. So yeah, I guess vulnerability, being able to act like a wacko and he still loves me. For me what's really important is that for the past four years I felt really comfortable being myself with her and I didn't need to try to pretend to be somebody that I'm not. It was so easy to talk to her and then like tell her everything that's been going on and what I like what I'm going through and it's nice to have somebody like kind of affirm that. That's that's my key to a happy and long-lasting relationship. Nice. Damn, what the I don't know if it's patience or if it's effort. Okay, I think the key to the relationship is what Michelle Obama said, right? Not all the time will it be 50-50 equal right. effort. I think there has to be some room for that. Sometimes there will be days will be 70-30. Or you know, sixty forty, like right. So it's about it's being always, flexible. It's being flexible, exactly. I'm about to put you guys on. The key to a long-lasting relationship is being able to navigate through the stresses of your relationship together in a way that works for both of us. One thing that I will say that I think has saved our relationship multiple times. Saved our relationship multiple times. Yes, for me personally. It's being able to swallow my pride. Yeah, you need work on that. Because <laughs> I'm super stubborn. I am super prideful. I like doing things my way. But sometimes it's just at odds with Viv. A lot of the times. Because she's such a strong, independent woman. Because I'm stubborn too. Yeah. yeah. And so we clash heads a lot. So it goes both ways. We both are willing to make compromises and to also just step down a little bit and let the other person like do what needs to be done or say what needs to be said. Oh, you wanna add something? Yes, uh, now, now I kinda wanna add something. No, 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 from an outside perspective, I think what makes your relationship really nice, the, uh, the one thing that you guys have that's really, like really great is that your sense of humor with each other is really, really strong. I feel like you guys get that in that sense. And I feel like being able to laugh with each other all the time and then have a good time is like a very, very important thing to have for the long run. I agree with you. I feel like it's like being able to have fun with your partner. Yeah. We're genuinely friends. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're best like, friends. If I think about it, like I could see you as like my best friend. 
without the romantic. Wait, did you just friends on me? Tension. <laughs> yes. Hey, Josh, is there anything that you would like to add? Yeah. Your partner is your best friend at the end of the day. So you gotta have fun. You gotta have a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed that segment. And there you have it, folks. It's so easy. Like, why are you still single? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They found my YouTube channel, so they're giving us service. Oh, shit. Very cool. Wow. Come to Hongdae Pocha because it's a great time with great food. And uh, it's just been nice to do something that isn't K-Town, you know? Yeah, this is an entire, like, ice cream cart. Holy oh, shit. Oh, it's a fried onion. Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? Oh, it's tempura. That makes a lot of sense. Wow, that's yummy, though. I was supposed to go light on the eating today, but <laughs> we just had too much good food. All right, for sure, now I'm turning the camera off. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, guys. Jesus, my hair is a mess. Holy. Gonna go get a haircut later today. I'll bring you guys with me. Viv and I got back home uh, safe yesterday, which is great. And I was planning on going to the gym today, but I don't feel 100%. Like, I'm kind of hungover. So I don't think I'll be going. Is what I would have said two months ago, but it's a new me. Obviously, I'm going to the gym today. It's leg day. Oh, no, nah, it's leg day. Never mind. I'm staying home, bro. Who's going to carry the boats and the logs? This was definitely one of the worst leg days ever. Not only did I start off my workout by taking a massive shit, but my AirPods died. That's right. I forgot to charge them. So here I am doing Bulgarian split squats with no music, and there's probably some residual poo on my asshole because there's no way one ply toilet paper at Blink Fitness is going to clean me up nice. But yo, check out the split squats. If you guys remember in my first video where I started working out, I couldn't do these with weight at all, and now I'm doing 35s on each side pretty well, with pretty good form, I would say so myself. My RDLs are also progressing pretty well, although, to be honest, I think the limiting factor has always been my grip strength, not my hamstrings. As usual, there's an old man sitting on the seated leg curl machine for 30 minutes, so I just did leg extensions. And I finished off my workout with some calf raises, although I'm not gonna show that because my calves are quite frankly embarrassing. Good workout though. It's not often that I work out without having my AirPods in. And I overheard this conversation. I didn't mean to eavesdrop, I was just right next to them. It was two dudes, and I'm guessing that they were probably in like high school. One of them was talking about how they had just broken up with a girl, so they were gonna get huge in the gym. And you see it online all the time too. Some dude will post like an Instagram reel or a TikTok saying, oh yeah, she hurt me, so I went to the gym and got huge. So then it got me thinking, why does someone need breaking up with their girlfriend as a catalyst to start going to the gym. Why couldn't you just go to the gym while you were in a relationship? Why did the relationship have to end in a negative way for you to start grinding? And I think a very common counter argument to that is, well, my partner made me feel secure with what I looked like, with who I was. I was content with how I was. But once we broke up, I wanted to improve myself, which is fair, I guess. But in my head, I was thinking about my conversation yesterday with my friends, right? Another important part about being in a relationship is being with someone that pushes you and motivates you to be a better version of yourself while you're with them. And what I mean by that is I wouldn't want to be in a relationship where I felt like my progress as an individual, as a human being was stunted and I was just stagnant throughout it. I don't want to be complacent. I don't want to be the same person I was like a year before. And that's something that I think is really important in a relationship. Who wouldn't want to be in a relationship where both parties are pushing each other to be the best possible version of themselves while being together? It's a win-win. I think while growing up, that's not something I really thought about, but not with Viv. Viv has definitely pushed, motivated, and wanted me to become a better version of myself. TLDR, your partner should inspire character development within you, and you should do the same for your partner. What is blood waffling about? Yeah, sorry for blabbing on and on, but that was, that was on my mind since I went to the gym. By the way, I'm not trying to knock on anyone that 
went through a breakup and started going to the gym and started working out like crazy. Like props to you, respect. Do you think I have made you a better person as well? Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to get into the details of it, but. I think even my friends could notice how different I am from before I met you. In a good way? Oh, in, in, in the best possible way, for sure. There's always gonna be someone that's like a good fit for you, whether that's at your worst stage in your life or your best. I met Viv at a not so great stage in my life. And I can confidently say that this is the happiest I've ever been. Me too, babe. <laughs> Why are you getting all shy? Oh shit! My ex-boyfriend watching this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you are watching this, get alive. Why are you watching us? Yo, boys, she cares about me. If she didn't, she would not make me something like this. This is two mushroom chicken sausages with pepper, corn, cheese, low fat cheese, uh, two eggs, half an avocado, and no oil. It definitely beats eating two chicken patties and two eggs. Delicious. This isn't really like a meal prep recipe, but I will 100% be stealing this from you. Get yourself a real one. I'm not saying your girlfriend is responsible for cooking for you, but when she cares, when she loves you, it hits different. My past relationship, they weren't good eaters. Like they didn't enjoy me making food. Actually, I'm sure they did, but they didn't eat it as well as you did. Like you're such a good eater. I am a pretty good eater. Like it's so attractive that you eat so well. It's so hot. She's talking about pussy. <laughs> Got to. <laughs> <laughs> Viv and I have been walking for a while now. We're in uh, Gowanus, and I, I'm getting a haircut now at Hazuki Hair Salon. It's like a Japanese hair salon. I've actually never been there before, but Viv has, and she really liked it. Although, it is very expensive. I think my haircut today is going to be $60, which is insane because I typically spend $25 in Chinatown. But they're very meticulous and very good at what they do. Is this it? Yeah, there you go. Oh. It's like a whole ass market. If you're wondering what I asked for, okay, first of all, shout out to Hama. Dude basically looks like Japanese Jesus. If you go there, you'll see him. Viv recommended this place to me because they said that they were very meticulous and they are. I asked for a, a scissor fade on the sides, like I didn't want a buzzer, all around my sides, even on the back of my head, and he would spend like five minutes just cutting like an inch. Definitely happy, definitely cut off a lot of my weight. My head doesn't look as big. Viv is really into it because she says that I look like how I did when we first met. Sexy. <laughs> not that you were not sexy after, but sexy. Okay, thanks Viv. We're back home now. It's kind of a lazy day. It's Sunday. We're kind of beat. I went to the gym today. Viv was busy being the best wife ever. The walk there and back took like an hour total and we were just walking in the sun. So we're kind of lazy right now and we don't really feel like doing much. So I think we are going to order food. So uh, Uber Eats Grubhub if you guys want to sponsor me. What are we going to get though? I got no idea. If this looks like some bomb as Mexican food, that's because it is. Al pastor torta, carnita torta, elote, and then carne asada, enchilada. Viv was craving this, so she got herself a torta. I got myself a torta and enchilada, and then we're sharing the corn. I actually posted this food on my story like a few days ago, and a lot of you guys were asking me, where'd you order this from? Because it looks fire. Viv gatekeeps her S edition, but not me. I would never gatekeep food. This is from Bushwick Taco Company. Look at that Al Pastor Torta, bro. It looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. How's the pork? Pork is good. The carnita. You good? Mm, Mexican food stays on top. My second favorite cuisine, bro. If I wasn't Korean, I'd be Mexican. Don't even get me started on the elote, holy shit. Look at that. Nah, that's crazy, that's sexy. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. I don't even know what makes it so good. It's mayo mm. and butter. Oh, my God. Does this hit the spot for you? It's so good. The thing is, though, is we've never been to Bushwick Taco Company. We've only ordered it on Uber Eats, but I genuinely think it's fire. The only thing that would make it better is if it was a lot cheaper. But I had to get it because it's, it's just too good. To be honest, I really wasn't an enchilada guy because I preferred burritos. But then after having the enchiladas here, I've only gotten enchiladas. Mm. Sour cream, the cheese, the verde, the fucking arroz con frijoles, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the beans are so goddamn good. Mm. The carne asada. Mm. One of my favorite meals ever. Bro, Mexican rice and beans, undefeated. A lot of people tell me, yo, Eric, you're bugging New York Mexican food. It's not even that good. You got to come to California or Texas. But that doesn't mean I can't enjoy it here, you know? When the people from Texas tell me that the Mexican food there is like the best, I believe it. Like aside from Mexico, I believe it. But I don't live in Texas, you know? This just makes me want to do um, a homemade Mexican video again. For an upcoming video, Viv and I will probably do making homemade Mexican food again because it's just too fire. Viv and I are going to end our night by watching Jujutsu Kaisen. Last episode before the recap episodes. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry, I just got distracted. Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. Peace. I'll see you guys next week. Done it, yeah. I'm just looking at you. I know it. I'm getting. Me. I don't want to see it. No, look at my face. It makes it funnier. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at it like this. <laughs> <laughs>